Okay, so the topic I'd like to talk about at the moment is, okay, wait for the recording to start. Okay, the recording's begun. So the topic I wanna to talk about at the moment is this idea of, of how we, we create a learning environment for people. So um, by shadowing me today, uh, you're sort of seeing things from, from, I guess, my point of view. And you're absolutely right. A lot of these, uh, a lot of these sync ups, they've been, they've been a lot of information, a lot of jargon, a lot of, a lot of material that's been floating by. And the question is, okay, then, then what, why is it that you're going through this? So what we've intended is we want to simulate as much as possible what the experience of entrepreneurship is like. Um, and we want to also get you guys up to speed as quickly as possible as well. But to support that, there's a little bit that you guys will have to do as well. So I'll show you, I'll show you how it works. The, the, the sort of arrangement here is that we, we create questions by bringing you into the deep end of the pool and just dropping you inside. Like, and you're like, oh, how, how do I swim? These questions emerge much faster and they emerge much more authentically if you actually are in an experience where they need to, you're like, what's going on, right? If we if we teach you this stuff beforehand, um, you probably won't retain too much of it because it'd be like, oh, whatever, you know, it's just more study material. But if we give you a feeling of, of urgency, like there's an emergency, there's all this information, I need to understand it, then, then hopefully that naturally attracts you to learn the information yourselves. All right, um, part of the philosophy of Book at Vista is that we bring on people who have three attributes and all of you, have been identified um, to have these attributes, which is which are rare. The first one is that you have a bias to action that we can see based on your interviews and engagements that instead of waiting and seeing what happens, you prefer to actually do and, and make things happen. So that's important. Without a bias to action, then, then the learning and development process will be very painful uh, for everybody. So that's, that's the first thing. The second thing that we've identified is that you guys have growth mindsets. And the growth mindset is essentially this belief that even if you don't understand it right now, uh, you can learn it and you could be different after the process of learning. Something that's hard can become easy over time with enough practice. So that's, that's pretty vital. And the third thing is that you are self-learners, that you have the history and you have the capability to learn things on your own. So um, those are essential, I think, to, to getting the correct cultural composition for a innovation company. Uh, most of what innovation means is that you will be doing new things that is gonna be different from things that have been done before. Without those three attributes, there will be no innovation. It will just be essentially, you will learn the best of what is already here and that is your end game. So we don't want it to be that way. We hope on day 100, you will be three times more proficient than on day one or maybe 30 times more proficient than on day one. Steve Jobs had a saying, and that's a saying that I, I take to heart a lot. He said, don't hire smart people and tell them what to do. Hire smart people and let them tell you what to do. And that's something that I've always thought was actually pretty brilliant. Steve Jobs was, I, I, you guys know who Steve Jobs was, right? <laughs> I don't have a generation gap here. Okay, all right, good, good. Um, uh, founder of Apple. So, uh, so anyway, okay, let's, let's kind of go about and look at how we would retrieve this information. And later on, I'm going to give you a demonstration and walk you through how you can start your own projects. And I'll also bring my wife, Wyanna, into this so that, so that it becomes clear for her. She missed out on a lot of orientation as well. So even though she's co-founder here, we have, we have changed the company a lot in the past few months to adapt to COVID. And some of this material will also be new for her. So she is... I'm back. You're also an intern now. Yes, I okay. am. All right, fantastic. I all the time. And like Rafik said, everybody here is is uh, learning all the time. And I will echo what he said too. A lot of our best ideas have come from people who are brand new at this company. And it is increasingly true that I've noticed with technological progression that people who are younger tend to see things earlier than people who are older. And I think that's, that's, that's a pretty valuable uh, thing. One more inspirational story. So at my time when I was working at Airbnb, I met the chief product officer. His name was Joe Bott. Actually, his name wasn't Joe Bott, it was Joe Zadeh. But everyone called him Joe Bott because 
there was another guy named Joe, and he was co-founder, so he couldn't be Joe. He was known as Joe Bot. But the reason why he was Joe Bot was he was he was he was an amazing computer programmer. He wrote basically a lot of what you use now on Airbnb. He wrote like the core um, systems in the original Airbnb, uh, you know, website and app. Okay, so I'm hanging out with Joe Bot one night. And we're having drinks at this bar in San Francisco, and uh, and I see a tattoo on his wrist, right? And I recognize it because I happen to have a computer science background. So it's it's literally like like this. It's hello colon world, and I recognize it because that's the very very first thing you learn to actually program when you first use a computer. You learn to print hello world. And so I look at Joe Bot and I go like, Joe, you're like, you know, you're like a god, right? You're, you know, you, you design Airbnb. Why do you have like something that's like basically something that like like the beginner of beginners would have? Like like you're like uh, you know like uh, you you're, you're like the greatest novelist in the world, and you have ABC tattooed on your wrist. And he said something to me that really blew my mind. He said, "It's a reminder, Jing." It's a reminder to always stay a beginner. And I was like, wow, wow, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. The way to actually become great is to always remain open for new things. The way to become great is always to realize you don't know everything, um, that you should begin on many things. Okay, anyways, that, that's a story I want to just hopefully inspire you guys with that story. But it's also very core to the, to the philosophy here in an innovation company that we're, we are always beginning again because we're doing things new. And as such, people who have been doing it for longer don't necessarily do it better than people who have just started. So always remain a beginner. Okay? All right. So um, I'll show you, like, as a beginner where you can go. <laughs> um, I've tried to design... Uh, the systems here so that a beginner can go about and figure out their way across the company. So it all starts with the all hands document, which I'll share with everybody through the chat group. And you guys can take a look at it and uh, explore a little bit to yourselves, right? So there's a link. And uh, once again, you can open this on your own computer now or later or whenever, but I just want you to have that link. So from here, you should be able to actually see pretty much um, everything, right? If you want to know like what the career pay, uh, the career sort of metrics are, how we value people's work and where the career path is, there's a little document here to talk about that. This is a vision of the company. This is essentially an article that we read in Skip that summarized our idea, but this was after we had the idea, um, and it, it expressed it very well. So I kept it here just so that if you kind of like need a little bit of a refresher to see like what, what is it that we want to do, you can read that article. That, that's there. But um, here's, here's sort of like the sequence of big vision ideas of what we want to do. Here's a meeting that we had with um, an expert, one of our professional networking sessions. Chip Conley was the head of hospitality at Airbnb, and we wanted to test our idea with him first. So we had a kind of a meeting. So this is all about vision and about understanding the vision and validating the vision with the right people. So that's a little bit over there. Um, Sorry, this is kind of messy, but this is this is Tableau. This is our analytics engine. I don't think you guys have access to it yet, but later on, if you're working in revenue management, we will give you access to it. And maybe later on as things get more, because I'm, I'm working with a big batch of interns right now too, um, we'll get you access so you can see what kind of data is happening inside the company. Um, okay, top level questions. And this is your roadmap. This is kind of like how to navigate around the company. Um, these are the different chapters uh, at work here, and we talked about their missions earlier. But within each chapter, there is discussion management. And discussion management is essentially where we get together to brainstorm, to talk about ideas, to discover what are the biggest opportunities, what are the biggest threats, and what are things that we need to collaborate on. And, um, and this is where all the discussion topics that we've ever had are. So I would invite you, if you belong to a certain chapter, to read some of these discussion topics to get up to speed on what's going on. Um, these discussion topics have evolved ever since about three months ago, I think, or maybe even less. But uh, this is all the things that we've talked about and every person's contributions to it. So in a really quick way, you can gain the context you need to start understanding what, what it is that we're talking about 
and 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 how does this all work? Okay, so that's that's um, that's milestone number one. So discussion topics, discussion papers. The next thing um, that I'll I'll walk you through is the uh, uh, the Trello boards, right? So the Trello boards are pretty much the same across each chapter, and there is guidance areas that you can go to to self learn. Um, if you're new to, let's say, a particular Trello board. I'm going to use the most complex board that we have at the moment, which belongs to the marketing chapter. So they have they have basically the most elements that are happening right now. But I'll show you where you can go to find everything you need and know what's going on. Okay, so basically, uh, the struct... What? Okay, something weird happened. Just give it a second. All right, well, we wait for our computers to load. Uh, let me ask when. Hey, what are you working? Oh, whoops! I, I accidentally hit a button here. Sorry, I hit the calendar button, and it reorganized my cards. Okay, uh, we'll get back to your question later. Yeah. But if you're if you're here, um, there is there's some chapter management tools here. Every chapter has it, and you can go here to find out more about what to do. So there is the meeting management, and basically we have explained. Um, what it is that each person needs to do during a meeting. There is a chairperson, a secretary, and there is a engineer. Sorry, there's a spelling mistake here. I have to eliminate, not a roller, engineering role. Okay, so these are the three roles that we have at each meeting. And if you want to know who's going to be the next chairperson, you can just check here. The next secretary is checked here, and the next recorder is checked here. So that part is pretty clear. We've explained what each role during a meeting does. And, um, and okay, so that's kind of like the rules of the game, so to speak. So this is milestone number two. All right, next one is the structure of the organization. So we've created cards here so that you can see what is the structure of the company based on this graphic here. So at the company level, we have communication like all hands, and that has a very inflexible mission, meaning we should not change the mission of our company very frequently. It would be chaos if we did. And at that level, we communicate on the all hands. At the chapter level, we have things like mission, initiatives, and a roadmap. And the chapter level is pretty inflexible, right? Meaning that the chapter has a particular mission to support the company mission, and we shouldn't change that too often. But if we need to, it's still more flexible than changing the company's mission. Make sense? Okay. So... And the material on that is, is listed there at the communication. And then we have other levels. We have initiative level. Initiative level are like what we reviewed in the morning. They're the cards that build up to support the chapter's mission. And those are very flexible. Those should be flexible because those are things that people are, are working on. As, as uh, Haspi said this morning, uh, we are bottom up. So bottom-up means that we are coming up with ideas, but also we are dropping ideas that don't work um, to support the chapter's mission. Over time, what you'll see is an evolution. Some initiatives that work will remain, and you'll see that they have very deep numbers, like pivot number 14, pivot number 15, and that means that it's a good pivot. It's a good, it's a good initiative, but you know, initiatives can come and go. And at the pivot level, um, this is where the most flexibility should happen, right? This is where you can go from one idea to another idea and keep on changing ideas based on what kind of feedback you're getting. So this explains essentially the, this card explains how the company is structured and all the information that you would need to understand what's going on is also here too as well, right? So it's on these documents here. Uh, there's meeting notes or summaries and there's a journal. Adding to the all hands, uh, that's actually pretty valuable is that we do have, um, let me see. I think we actually have, oh, also we have this. This is important. Just earlier you heard about professional networking and this is a new program that we are doing. So we, we often connect with people who we identify to be industry experts about a particular topic like data science, community management, customer support. This is part of our mission to become the world's most innovative hospitality company. So we can't get there if we don't know what, where to go. So we, we found a lot of people uh, who've been helping, and we've recorded all our engagements with them on this paper as well, which can also be accessed through the All Hands document. This is milestone number three. 
So if you're looking for like, okay, what it is that Book of Vista knows that I don't know yet, um, this is like a sequence of, of networking sessions that we've had with people. And we've summarized them uh, at top level here by the most actionable takeaways. And if you want to drill down and understand more, there is the interview document and the notes that we took during the, the discussion. So uh, all kinds of good stuff. Cheryl is a community manager at Uber. Uh, Rob is a, uh, he's an entrepreneur and he has one of the largest sneaker companies in the world. Um, Ritesh worked on data science at Uber and he was in charge of like, I think petabytes of information, huge data records and saving money on storing and, and uh, actioning on that type of information. Okay, so uh, all this is, once again, for self-discovery. Uh, explore a bit, look around the all hands, and uh, look around your chapter, and I think you'll find all the necessary materials there. Um, okay, and uh, this particular chapter for marketing, they have inspiration and a knowledge feed, and uh, I guess this isn't very that active yet, but whenever we find some information that could be uh, useful, then we post it here and, and people who you know, might, might uh, benefit from it can watch it. Okay, so that's great. That's essentially how um, this system works through a system of self-learning and self-service. And if you really also want to learn more, there is our YouTube channel. We have two YouTube channels. One YouTube channel is on careers. We used to upload all our meetings onto one YouTube channel, but we realized that that stopped that particular YouTube channel from growing. So now we have a second YouTube channel. Um, this YouTube channel is a index of all of our past meetings. So generally, if you're new here, we will give you an exercise and you will go and watch a few of these videos and write uh, what you know. So that's just a way to get your experience up really quickly. Generally, after you've watched a few videos, you'll, you'll be able to see what's going on here um, at Book of Vista in a faster way. The other YouTube channel we have is more for external uh, people. Um, this one is where we talk about, like this is COVID safe cleaning. This is mostly for our partners to watch. We have introduction videos to uh, some of our partners. We have introduction videos to some of our properties. This is more for facing the, the general public. So in these um, videos, we also share our mentorship meetings that we've had with industry experts. Um, these people have worked and we've identified, like I said, as professionals and we've gathered and we share it with the rest of the world so that we can, um, you know, we can develop this innovation culture to, to for hopefully for the hospitality industry, if not all industries. Okay. So that's milestone number four. So you have these tools to, to, uh, to explore and to, to really fulfill that, 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 uh, those confusion spots. Okay. All right, great. Um, next thing I'm going to do is this. So I'm going to walk you guys through the process of actually creating your own pivot, which is the process of actually creating your own, your own, uh, cards and your own projects. So I'll, I'll begin here. So yesterday, Lyanna came to me and she said, I have a new idea and, uh, maybe tell me more about that idea. Um, basically, uh, I was been working for uh, as a market research for Obuki Pista to to get more property or more partner to onboard with us. So normally, what we did is traditionally is knock doors, like visit the site and then knock their door, like, hey, I'm from Bukit Pista. But since COVID, like, we're not available to do that because, like, uh, we, we have to stay at home. So what I did is that like, uh, instead of I'm um, doing that, I am uh, go to, I joined couple group that related up to property on Facebook. And I, at first I just absorb like for couple of days and understand what people posting, what the reaction. And um, I mean, what I can take, what, how can I benefit from this? And then from that, I actually like take. A, I learned take a lot of time to filter like which one is a real owner, which one is not, who's an agent. Like you know, like it's it's kind of a bit. I can see it has a lot of noise in it. And then uh, I feel bit to just just focus that 
the property that I targeted and then discontacted the, the owner instead of see the post. And then after that, it's uh, even then the owner like, oh, I'm doing myself now. Like I'm not interested. Like so, I I thought my project is not uh, su- successful in that time. And then I I pivoted to basically uh, to collaborate with agent, but I don't get a result either. So I'm now like the last pivot will be. Uh, in but we I will interested to invite my my team to help me to filter on Facebook and also like uh, to visit the site when uh, can visit. So that's what I I do. Okay, so basically, uh, it's pretty normal, uh, even for somebody who's working here for like like since the beginning, to experience, I guess, failure on certain ideas. So it's important to keep on pivoting. It's important to once once one idea doesn't work, um, you know, you find a way around that and, and keep going. Okay, so what I'm going to do is Wyanna is actually pretty new at doing this too. So I'll walk you guys through how she's going to start her her newest pivot. Yeah. So okay, babe, um, mm-hmm. where is your newest card? Then that... you can comment F and go to Wyanna's card. Okay. Oh, okay. First thing I want to show you guys is a little tip. Um, this is just a little trick on Trello. So Trello uh, is, uh, well, well, actually, just raise your hand if you've used Trello before. Okay, nobody, yeah? So Trello is brand new for everybody, yeah? Okay. Um, so there's a cool trick on Trello, which is you see all these labels here, right? There's like these yellow labels and such. Um, these labels are able to be sorted. So how do we sort them? We just press the letter F. And this pop-up shows up, which is a filter. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the labels where Wyanna is the champion over here, and I'll select that. And what I expect to see is that it will reduce all the cards that do not have a label with her name on it, and it will only show the cards that she is the project champion on. Right? So I'll go ahead and click on that. And boom. Okay, let's zoom out. Okay, there we go. Now... It has been simplified. Okay, so it's been simplified, and uh, we see essentially where her cards are. Uh, Wyanna is working on initiative A for the marketing chapter. So the marketing chapter is to actually discover and acquire properties from all over the world. Now I apologize right now because this is this this is not this is a problem that we have in marketing right now. The initiative should not be a duplicate of the actual mission. So we detected that problem. A few, uh, we let the chapter kind of figure it out on their own. But anyway, ideally, th- this should not be an exact replica of the mission. It should be a little bit different. But okay, let's, let's, uh, you guys might not have spotted that, but when I saw that, I was like, eh. So I, I had to say something. But okay, the idea is to acquire property from all over the world. And so, Wyana's job is to go to look for properties in Bali. So let's take a look at your cards right now. So on your first card, I want to take a look, and I see that this is your latest card, right? This is 2.1. Yeah. Okay, so uh, when I look at that, I also want to do something else. I want to make sure. This one happened when I built it yet. That's okay. Okay, so this is your your newest card, and uh, let's go ahead and break this down, right, from the very beginning. Have you you updated the intended outcome hypothesis and KPIs? Uh... This one, I think this one, the closing deals. Okay. So I think the newest one that you told me to make the card is the below one. Actually. So this is not the newest card? No, no, this one. 2.0 is the latest. No, no, no. So it should be 2.2. Okay. All right. Yeah. So this is this is okay. We're, we're already noticing some mistakes here. Okay. So uh, which one is 2.2? Is it this, this one? This one. The bottom one, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Because the, the, the feedback from this one. This from one 2. is the 1. following one. The pivot from this and this. You, you realize when you point, nobody can see you, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, two point zero is like my original pivot, uh, original card. And mm-hmm. then two point one is like, uh, there's a, a closing deal because from the, uh, from two point zero. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, I wanna basically, uh, target a new area because, uh, I'm weak at, 
villa so it should be 2.2 instead of 0.1 there is i uh, there's an error there it should be 2.2 okay yeah so let's let's organize this from uh, beginning to to end right yeah. so we started with this idea first this was finding luxury properties through facebook groups this was our initial uh, idea and we had a hypothesis that we could discover properties on facebook groups and we were going to explore the padang padang hill and we we're going to approach phone calls and contact lists okay um, there's there's some mistakes here and i want to actually illustrate with with uh, with my wife here and want to walk everybody through what, what they are and how to how to do this, right? So the first thing is that you have three hypotheses here, right? You yeah. have one, two, three. So these each should have their own individual pivot card because otherwise you're mixing together three different ideas into one mm -hmm. and it will be hard to actually find out which one is actually working. So one takeaway is this, right? So one card, one, uh, one, one hypothesis. So this was mostly related to the Facebook groups, right? Yeah, but this one actually, each of them is work, but uh -huh. it is a lot of time to like explore Padang Padang here. Like there is a result actually, mm -hmm. and then discovery property Facebook also a result, but approach via phone call like all contact also a result. So okay. each one have a result. I see. So, okay, but in the future, though, just for the clarification of of everyone, for each particular hypothesis, different mm -hmm. card, right? And mm -hmm. that that keeps your that keeps your 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 journey. Uh, unique and that keeps it easy to track right because if you have different results you might want to add different members to that particular result later to help reinforce you and it's confusing if they don't know where to look for a particular thing so one mission one idea one card that's rule number one okay so um, okay that's been done already so we will we will sort of ignore it for now maybe maybe what we can do is you can go back and create two separate cards for the explore the hill and approach via phone call. All right, so the intended re intended outcome was we would get two to the four bedroom uh, high-end villas. Okay. Uh, Which is we, I got it actually. So you got you got one one villa, right? I got two high-end villas. Oh, like, okay, you got, okay, so this this is also needs to be kind of clarified. This is two four bedroom high-end villas, right? Like uh, that, okay, yeah. so we got, we got two, so it worked. And were they beachfront and cliffhunt? Uh, actually, more like an ocean view, not beach one. Okay, so they're ocean view. Okay, so successful then. You got the intended outcome that you wanted. And the KPI, which is the key performance indicator, which is the number that you will measure to know if you are successful or not. Um, so we broke down the KPIs into stages. That The first stage is the number of contacts that Wayana will bring in. The second is the number of meetings that she will have. And the third is the end deal, right? What is the number of contracted properties for long-term partnerships? Now, how many contracts did we get out of, of this pivot card? For well, this one, like more like the short-term contract. Okay, so we got short-term yeah, contracts. So, not a long -term. so we didn't actually get the correct KPIs then, right? That we're looking for. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this is where we we set up the the the, the sort of the structure of our experiment, and this part is pretty important. And I see here you have also a template here. Can you tell me more about what that is? I think uh, that one is my daily activities uh, during my experiment to keep track, like what I'm doing for, you know, uh, basically like activities that daily, what it's worth it, not like that's what okay. I put it in there. Understood, activity. understood. And then also here you have a date of experiment you have from the 25th of May to the 29th of May too as well, right? 20, 22. 22 of May to, to 29th of May. Okay, great. So um, there's a few things here that that I think we want to take a look at. And then there's a few things next that I want to show you guys of how, how we're going to do it uh, using the like the new and better way. The This was the format we used to use, by the way. We did use a start date and end date. But then somebody in our team discovered that on Trello, there's this great thing called, uh, wait, where did it go? It's not there. What is it? The due date. It doesn't show up. Huh? Huh? Weird. Huh? Okay, I'm not sure why, but there should be a due date here. Um, okay, so anyhow, um, that's, that's sort of like where we began. What I'm gonna show you now is the next step, right? And I'll, I'll recreate this card, um, and I'll show you how pivots work. So this becomes our first pivot. 
this becomes the first thing that we do. And parts of it were successful, but like Wayana explained, parts of it were not successful. So we're going to go ahead and create a new card from this template. And the most important thing to do is to remember, um, actually it's not the most important thing to do, sorry. It, one of the important things to do is to keep your labels correct. Yeah. So if you don't keep your labels correct, it will be hard for you to keep track of anybody, what's going on. Yeah. yeah, for anybody. So uh, this is actually the second pivot now. So it's A2.2. I think we have already. Yeah. It, we have already, but I'll, I'll just use okay. this one now because okay. otherwise I have to do okay. it again. All right. Actually, hold on a second. Is it, it? Are you on the same mission now? You're on the same mission. I'm in the same mission, but it's... Uh Target different area instead of you're target, you're shifting your focus, right? Yeah. And are you still using Facebook groups? I'm still using Facebook group and also combination with the with the that's why I was thinking uh, yeah. Okay. Interest to visit the villa. Okay, yeah. great. So now we have a method that is an extension of the current method, so we'll keep some parts of the current method, but we will add also a human to go out and and, and uh, what do you call it? Uh, canvas, Maybe. canvas an area too as well. So we keep basically the two, but we add a point to because this is the next iteration of the same idea. And also more focus in Changu instead. Okay, great. And we focus on Changu. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and create a card, and from this card we will pop out a right here. So this is now M A two dot two. This is the card that we've created from the template. So. What we're going to do now is, of course, we're going to change the title. So we still are looking for luxury properties through Facebook groups, but we're looking at it through Facebook groups and uh, on-site on -site canvassing in Changu. So now we're getting refined on our pivot, right? We're taking what we learned last time and we're, we're, we're focusing that. Okay, what is your outcome? Is your outcome the same outcome as before? to get to four bedroom high end villas? Um, I think like uh, between two to four bedrooms. Uh, how many How many do you want to get? How many quantity? Oh, for a week, maybe two, yeah. Okay, get, okay so now you, you don't just have a quantity, you have a rate, right? You have two per week. And that's actually a good idea because it's better that way, yeah. right? You have, you have a continuous mission. So you have two, um, two, Two to four bedroom villas per week. Every week. Okay. Now, what kind of qualities do you want to have for this villa? Should they just be any villa, or do you want them to have a specific type of quality for your guest? Uh, have to be like standard uh, bucket list. I can earn two thousand dollars. Ah. And, you know. Should be. Uh, okay. Should be potential of. 2,000 USD revenue a month. Not actual, but at least the potential. So small properties are, you know, things that are below that threshold, we should not we should not do, right? Unless oh. it's really unique. Okay. Like profile, profile. Great, okay, so now we're, 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 we're refining and giving ourselves a more clear target. Now, is there any other things that they should have? Should they have a large living room, a kitchen? You know, is there any other? It should have like a pool. Okay, should I pull? Uh, uh, clean. A cleaner? Clean, clean and modern, comfortable, and full kitchen equipment. Okay. And you want um, you, you want, uh, modern equipment? Okay, so how important is the design? It's, it's very important, I think. Okay, design, design is, and area, yeah. Okay, design is important. What kind of design are you looking for? Uh, unique and modern. Unique and modern, yeah. Unique and modern or unique or modern? Uh, I can take unique, I can take modern. Okay, so that's an or, right? Yeah. Okay, all right, so that's good. Okay, that gives, that gives a little bit more clarity around what we're looking for. Is there any age of the property? Should it be new? Should it be like a year, two years? Do you want 10 year old, 20 year old um, properties? Newer is the better. Okay. Uh, because like you know it will be more fresh okay and newer is better updated, uh, any cutoff for the age five years five years right no uh, more than five years of age okay great you have a specific goal now right you have you know what success looks like all right 
So what's your hypothesis? How are you going to be able to do this? Um, that one, I think I will do uh, more on Facebook and uh, tar no, I'll, I'll go do Facebook and then do research on Google. On Google. Google Maps. Maps. Google Maps. like to see like if the area and stuff, and then this will visit the place. And Google Maps. Yeah. And okay, so you do research on on Facebook groups and Google Maps, and you will send a canvasser to target uh, target dense villa areas in Changdu, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, canvasser, okay, all right. Maybe the canvasser also play drone in the area that we want. Okay, and then, okay, all right, you'll send a canvasser and we will use drone mapping to discover, discover the area. Okay, all right, so you have your hypothesis, okay? And what are your KPIs? Is it still the number of contacts you bring in and the meetings you, you have? Yeah, okay. right, one the same, yeah. Okay, great. And you're going to probably use the same experiment thing. All right. And when are you starting this experiment? Uh, this one, I think I will start it on July because I still uh, want to focus on board three properties at the moment. Do you know have a Do you have a date in July? Maybe first. Okay, September. July first. Yeah. Are you sure July first is a work day? Huh? Like, don't start it on a Sunday, right? Because then you know. You're... Sunday is good because the owner is at home. Oh, you think so? Yeah. Okay. All right. So you can start any. You don't have any days off on July first. Oh, I'm off. Yeah. So yeah. you should probably plan for a day that's. It's a Wednesday. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's okay. Okay. All right. Check calendar, and she will start on Wednesday, on the twenty twenty. And how long do you want to spend on this pivot? Uh, one to try for a week to use this method, and then I will review in the next week which one is working, and then I will. Pivot to the one that's working. Excellent. Okay, so you have a week to, to spend on that, and that's great. And you can probably delete all this material here because this is just copied over from the template card, and it's not it's not useful anymore, right? So you're gonna kind of delete all this stuff here. Delete, 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 delete. Oops. Okay. Delete, 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 delete. So we'll remove that. We'll remove that, and we'll remove this, and that's done. And then I think the first thing you can have is you have an update, right? So here are your, your contacts. Um, here are your meetings. And here are your deals, right? And when you report, you just report how many contacts you have, how many meetings you have, and how many deals you have, yeah. right? And then that keeps everything pretty simple. But also, uh, maybe Wayana wants to journal what happens so that she can kind of see what's going on from each iteration. So she's attached a, a document here on the Trello card called experimental template. And let's open that template and see what it has. Now this, once again, is a legacy from the, the original template card that we have created. And uh, what do you have here, babe? So basically this one is, um Basically, uh, what I got or in the picture when to post on site visit, like this is the ah, okay. All right. when I post it. Great. So this is essentially a document tracking the progress of Wayana's different attempts. So she's recording basically the day, who's working on it, what, where she got the audience from, what was the uh, target, what time, what message, and what were the results. This is good for somebody to follow up on because they can see, let's see, where did you get results? So you seem to get results uh, on this particular group, Uluwatu and Bukit Jimbaran group in the afternoons for Ocean View Villas using this approach, right? Okay, so this is this is good. This is just so that somebody can succeed her work and also Wayana can understand over time what particular activities are working better than others uh, to, to understand what's going on. Okay, so you have, you have an experimental template. Would you like to keep the same template or try a new template I for will, your new experiment? I will try a new template, this copy Great. the top. Okay, because so, I want to keep the excellent. Template. So she'll templatize basically this, right? So she'll, she'll, and you can do this on paper as well, which is the other uh, tool that we use. So she'll go ahead and create the document, 
And what you can do is once you have a new version, now this is the copy, right? Um, you should probably get a different name. You can call this the July 2020, so you won't get confused. And then, and then what you can do is you can delete all this stuff here because it will be for a new experiment. Okay, done. And now the only thing that she has to do is then take a copy of this and bring it back to Trello. Now, um, we can go back to Trello here, and we can even keep the – this is just a formatting on Trello, by the way. So we just put a bracket, experimental template, and you put the website link, but you've got to close it with these little parentheses here and here. So all you do is you just swap it out with the new link, and uh, you're ready to go. Okay, done, right? Now you have a new pivot card created from the old pivot card with a new mission – a new hypothesis, a new intended outcome, but you're tracking the same KPIs as before, right? And you're ready to rock. Now, the only thing you have to think about is you need then to attach this new card back up to this initiative card. So you have a new card now, and that is here at the top. Wait, no, wait. We need to delete this card, right? This is what yeah. we did before, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and delete this card. Uh, archive. And delete will delete your attempt okay all right so uh oh my god these all look the same right uh where did it go where did it go oh here it is so this is our newest card this is the card that we've just made we'll put it at the top of the list so that it's clear and then what we will do over here is we will attach that new card uh actually i'll just do this this is a little bit better i'll just connect this card over to the initiative card Maybe a comment. Actually, I'll try using a comment this time. Yeah, well, okay, maybe not. I'll attach using the card. Uh, all right, there we go. So what I've done now is I've attached Wyana's newest card. Uh, where is it? Where did it go? Oh, oh, okay. No, M2.2. All right, right here. Okay, so I've attached Wyana's latest card to the master card, uh, the master initiative card up at the top. So that way I can keep track of all the number and sequencing of uh, what's happening. Okay. All right. So that is basically a walkthrough of how we come up with an idea and then turn that idea into a pivot card and how that then gets integrated into the overall mission. Okay. Cool. I know, I know that might have been maybe confusing, but that's why I recorded this. So that hopefully, if uh, if you need some practice, you can can can, can watch uh, how it's done and create your own pivot cards. Okay, is that clear now? Yeah. Like how it's made. Yeah. Right. And so you got. Let's let's go over to double check. Um, let's see for questions. Uh, Caroline, any questions from your side? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, it's right. clear. It's clear. So. Okay. We'll we'll see if. If there's any questions when we ask you to do one for yourself, yeah? Okay. <laughs> Next one. Okay, okay, I can do it. <laughs> ask me. Okay, over to you. Any questions so far? Not yet. Okay. Uh, Alithia, any questions on your side? No. Okay, and over to Frida, any questions on your side? No, sure. Thank you. Okay. I, I couldn't hear Frida. Frida, uh, uh, could, you, could you say again? I think um, maybe your audio didn't come through. Uh, hello. Yes, I can hear you now. Okay. Any questions on your side? Uh, no, sure. Thank you. Okay. Great. Okay, that's pretty much it then. Um, that is a walkthrough on how to actually integrate and start getting your. Uh, so that's milestone number five, I believe. Uh, so this is essentially how to start getting involved and activated in each particular chapter's uh, mission. Just as new people here. What I'll do later is I'll give you some exercises on uh, videos to watch on recent chapter sync ups. Um, what you guys can do to save some time is you can play it back at double speed on YouTube so that you don't have to sit through the entire thing. And, and that way you can, you can kind of see it. If, if you want to watch the whole thing, that's fine too as well. Okay, that's pretty much it. So uh, that's, that's it for now. I'll stop the recording. So for everyone here and for people in the future, this is how um, you find your way through Book of Vista and find out more about the chapter mission, about how to then get involved with creating your own pivot cards. And hopefully this will be of value.